Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's Bars and Bar Bells, your favorite reaction channel for music, sports, and what we got today, comedy. comedy. And we're doing Futurama because this is one of Sam's favorites. She, you really liked Futurama growing up, right? Yeah, I watched like a fair amount of it. Yeah, and uh, was this like a religious thing? Like, I, I think it came out like every Sunday, right? So did you... I never really watched it like all the time. Like, I wasn't somebody like sat down at the same time and date every week. Or but... a binge watcher. Yeah, or like when it was on TV and you know, you're, you're sitting there on the couch like flipping through and it would be on. I'd be like, yeah, I can't sit and watch. So do you have a favorite character from the show? Because I'm not really too familiar with it. Uh, probably Bender, the robot. And that's the robot, right? Yeah. Now. Okay. I mean, I like Layla too, the girl, but, um, the Cyclops, but I like Bender the best. So, yeah, so I never, my personal experience with Futurama is I really never got into it. I watched a few episodes here and there, but I think it came out a little bit later after, like, The Simpsons yes, came out, and did. even maybe after Family Guy, I think it might have come out. I'm not sure, actually. I think the those two are within the same era. Okay. Well, I definitely after The Simpsons, so I think maybe, because yeah. I'm a little bit older than you are, so... Um, you know, maybe it was around the timeline where you were still interested in that kind of stuff and I was watching or doing other things at that point and maybe yeah. that's why I just never got into it. But um, I'm excited to check it out, see see what I may have missed in the season one funny moments because might as well start with season one, right? Yeah, take and, it away back. Uh, and yeah, so I don't know when this would have came out. I don't know how long this ran for. But it was you a got... while and they hadn't even had it on Netflix and stuff for a while. Well, you guys can let us know in those comments anything about Futurama that we should know. Like I said, how long it's run for, uh, if it's still running, which I don't think is the case, and uh, no, what year it came out in. Answer those questions in the comments. Let us know. Are right, you ready to check out? I'm ready. Check out. Check it out. You ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's get it on. Get used to the 31st century. Caffeinated bacon? Baconated grapefruit? Admiral Crunch? Well, if you don't like that, try some Archduke Chocula. Hey, nice seats. We're close enough to when you knock a player down with a beer bottle, he stays down. I don't get this. Is Blurns Ball exactly the same as baseball? Baseball? God forbid. Face it, Fry. Baseball was as boring as mom and apple pie. That's why they jazzed it up. Boring? Baseball wasn't... Hmm, so they finally jazzed it up. Uh... Home run! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> oh! oh! Yay! <laughs> what just happened? Why is the ball on that springy thing? It's traditional. Just like aluminum bats and the seventh inning grope. Ah, uh, here you go, kid. <coughs> hey, I'm starting to get the hang of this game. The, the blurns are loaded, the count's three blurns and two anti-blurns, and the infield blurn rule is in effect, right? Except for the word blurn, that was complete gibberish. Multi-ball! <gasps> oh. <laughs> ball <laughs> Captain Journal, star date. That was the most random thing I've ever seen, I think. Christ, like, what is happening? Yeah, it was, it's cool, though, like, now that I'm seeing this and have a different perspective on it, um, you know, going back in time a little bit, it's cool that, you know, they're adding these futuristic elements to these modern day themes. And, yeah. you know, we see that kind of happening now a little bit with AI and how we're implementing all this stuff. So it's interesting yeah. now we see this, you know, before anybody who actually had any perspective as to what it was going to look like, right? Yeah. Obviously, we're not doing that yet, but <laughs> I could, I can see us not being that far off. Uh, fair. Uh, oh, April 13th. April 13th. Point two. We have failed to uphold Brannigan's law. However, I did make it with a hot alien babe. And in the end, is that not what man has dreamt of since first he looked up at the stars? <laughs> Kiff, I'm asking you a question. <laughs> oh. Radio City Mutant Hall. Cool. Uh, Crosstown Express?
So what's the deal? I sort of pause it again, but what's the deal with him? Like he's traveled through time or something like that? Yeah, so he's like, a, if I remember correctly, it's been a long time since I watched this. He fixing my hair. Yeah. <laughs> um, from what I remember, he's like from Earth, from like modern day, and then ends up here. So he doesn't really know like what's going on through all of this. Right, that's what yeah. I figured, but I just didn't know how he ended up in yeah. this. Yeah. I can't version. remember. I think like in the very beginning of season All right. one. Well, Australia. you can let us know in yeah. the comments. <laughs> Hi, I'm Craterface. Welcome to Luna Park. I'll have to confiscate your alcohol, sir. Better mascots than you have tried. <laughs> At least I still have my self-respect. <laughs> wow, now this is fantastic. Hmm, I'm not sure we want to pay for a dimension we're not going to use. Here it comes. A mysterious world in the darkest depths of the Forbidden Zone. Thank you and good night. Uh, Professor, are we even allowed in the Forbidden Zone? Why, of course. It's just a name, like the Death Zone or the Zone of No Return. All the zones have names like that in the Galaxy of Terror. Uh, Professor... Off you go, pleasant trip. <laughs> yeah. oh, I can't take it anymore. They've been at it for hours. Give it a rest, you two. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is Hermes. A package just came in. Everyone needs to return to the office immediately. Oh. Ah. Get away, you filthy bird. Shoo! Shoo! Professor, turn me off, quick! I'm sorry, what? Ah! See you at the office! <coughs> <coughs> yeah, well, I'm gonna go build my own theme park with blackjack and hookers. In fact, forget the park! <laughs> The story of lunar exploration started with one man, a man with a dream. One of these days, Alice, bang, zoom, straight to the moon. Wow, I never realized the first astronauts were so fat. That's not an astronaut, it's a TV comedian. And he was just using space travel as a metaphor for beating his wife. <laughs> Someone's been a bad computer. <gasps> Get a load of that! <laughs> Say, dollface, how'd you like to make time with a real man? No, I'm not attracted to bullies, no matter how big and uh, handsome they are. It's okay, Leela, go ahead. I got a lot of work to do here. <laughs> uh, sir, you don't understand. I'm a professional beach bully. I pretend to steal your girl. You punch me. I go down. She swoons. You slip me 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Not even if she was my girlfriend. You take her. Fry! <laughs> Although I suppose we could go for a walk on the beach. Uh, no thanks, ma'am. I'm actually gay. <laughs> Well, at least... That's what, uh, there's a few places in the world looking like they're gonna turn into today. Yes, yeah, seriously. <laughs> Tear, you'll be treated with dignity. Now strip naked and get on the probulator. <laughs> probulator. Ooh! Welcome to the Head Museum. I'm Leonard Nimoy. Spock? Hey, hey do the thing. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. 
This is unbelievable. What do you heads do all day? We share our wisdom with those who seek it. It's a life of quiet dignity. Feeding time. <laughs> sure, it ain't one of them la di da above ground places, but if you like dank, you forget about it. At least it's got a great view. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I gotta go change a light bulb. What should we point it at first? I don't know. Try it on me. Ow! My sperm! Wow, <laughs> neat! Mind if I try that again? Huh. Didn't hurt that time. Oh, mama. Hold still, sexy lady. <gasps> What's wrong? That's no lady. Damn, Chico. <laughs> one more upgrade and I'll be more lady than you can handle. Why you so stupid, stupid? Hey, bite my shiny metal ass. You couldn't afford it, honey. <laughs> hey, I'm Elsa. Well, <clears throat> so, I mean, oh, we're only two minutes left, but is this reminding you of what you used to watch? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the comedy is very similar, and even in the first season. <laughs> yeah, and I think just the banter between the characters and their dynamics and stuff is bringing a little bit of that back to me. Yeah. Yeah. I find, I think I'm, I may have missed some of the jokes before. It seems like, you know, not like they're like layered or deep jokes or anything, but they're kind of like a little bit more witty and clever maybe than I was paying attention to at the time. Yeah. And, you know, I thought it was maybe more surface level because I think that's what, like, The Simpsons would be is more surface level. Yeah. And this is, you know... More, like, silly comedy then. Yeah, yeah, but this one, I think, like, they're trying to be a little more clever with the jokes, which I like. Yeah. I, I quite enjoy it. So I'm, I'm enjoying going back in time and checking out the future. <laughs> you know? Future from back then. <laughs> to the show. You know, you don't have to drive all the way to Neptune for great Neptunian food. Today, we're going to kick it up a notch as I show you how to fricassee a mouth water and Neptunian slug. Woo-wee! Now, while you're greasing the pan and preheating your oven to 3,500 degrees, you're going to separate the yolk from your genetically enhanced eggplant and then give the whole thing a good blast from your spice weasel. Bam! The most important ingredient is this baby right here, the Neptunian slug. You can get it in a can, but to really do things right, you got to strangle yourself a fresh one. Now this is why you always want to use cast iron cookware. Oh, that is completely <laughs> reckless. Don't you ever think ahead? Hell no. If I stopped to think ahead, I wouldn't be emperor. And I wouldn't even be here in the year 3000. It's just like the story of the grasshopper and the octopus. All year long, the grasshopper kept burying acorns for winter. While the octopus mooched off his girlfriend and watched TV. But then the winter came, and the grasshopper died, and the octopus ate all his acorns, and also he got a race car. Is any of this getting through to you? <laughs> Interplanetary deliveries. What a headache. Evans, where's that package from Earth? Uh... I'm not Evans! You should have used Planet Express. When those other companies aren't brave or foolhardy enough to go, trust Planet Express for reliable on-time delivery. Ah! <laughs> Here's your package, Mr. Horrible Gelatinous Blob. Good work, Evans. You've got a future around here. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Planet Express. Our crew is replaceable. Your package isn't. Oh goodness. Well, it was season one, funniest moments. You enjoyed it? Yeah, it was good. It was nice to go back. I haven't watched this in probably a decade, so it's been, it's been that a long. very long time. Man. Yeah, I well, it was totally new for me. I didn't remember any of that or what to expect or anything. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I yeah. saw I saw recently it was posted on Netflix. I wonder if it's still on there. Oh, we can watch that. Maybe. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. And if you did enjoy our reaction as well, hit the like button. Yeah. Uh, leave us a comment. Let us know what you like about Futurama. Anything else that you'd like us to watch. We who always, your favorite character is. Yeah, that as well. <laughs> We're always uh, interested in learning new things. So 
If you hit those comments and let us know about something we may not know about Futurama, like I said, about when it started all that, we'd appreciate it. And uh, if there's anything else other than Futurama that you want us to react to, let us know in those comments as well. If you haven't subscribed, we've got lots of content on the channel now between sports, comedy, and music, stand-up comedy. We've got you know things like South Park on there. We've got all different kinds of, of entertainment at this point. So if you want to come along for this ride that we're on, hit the button, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.